Alrighty, we'll go ahead and get started. <coughs> Alright, uh, July minutes. Has everybody read through the July minutes? Drafting up 
a thing that they have to sign that recognizes, yes, I understand that I'm not a board member, but I, I am still held to the same standards as if I am a board member. I still have to follow the same privacy protocols. Um, the problem that comes up against the board is, let's say the committee decides that they're going to cut corners and friends and friends and friends and they're going to get a 2500 square foot building because I like them, and they approve it, it comes back on the Not them. So it's our problem even though we can't be a part of it. Correct. Uh, that sounds right. Wait, so, so the person, they can't be... They can be on the committee, but they can't be in charge of the committee. No, we. there is no... They what can happen is Monica can stay on the board and be in charge of the committee. She oh. can be in charge of it, but she cannot. Oh, now that we're aware of this and we've got, we, we, like I said, I talked to the attorney. <laughs> I, I've been trying to get in touch with him and he's been on vacation. I finally called him and told him, I know you're on vacation. So am I. I need to talk to him about this. And it is, she can be in charge of the ACC committee, as in she can call meetings. She can go over everything, but she cannot be the sole signer on ACC. And that's how it's always been. As long as it's always, this neighborhood's been around. We've had, they've had an ACC chairman that was a board member. Yeah. And it's always been that ACC chairman that signed it. And if there was a committee, then they would all sign. We haven't had an ACC committee in over eight years. We've had one person. So she has to bring all of this stuff to the board? No. No. You no. Know but what, what can be done is with her, she can be a board member and she can be an oversight, which means right. if we get as else to sign up, then she can be the, the in between. The committee which would be us. whoever the committee, if they get, like her stack that she has now, <laughs> they can go through it, approve or deny it, but they cannot contact the property owner until it's run by to make she can, she will make sure, okay, yes, this is following all the guidelines, y'all are good. And if she says, no, you approve this, and this cannot be approved in regards to our deed restric restrictions or our ACC applications, then she can still do that, but she cannot sign, deny, or approve. So we need to find a ACC committee. We need to find people willing to do a committee to do these. I mean, that would be smart only because the people would go to her to turn in the money, to turn in the application. Yes. Yeah and not to Sarah, who they know is the one saying yes or no to my application. That, she has no say so. Correct. So I'm meeting with her, but I have no retaliation to her if she says no. Yeah, they're, trying, they're, trying to they're trying to protect board members. But, again, what, how he had broke it down, he goes, that's why they did it. So that a board member cannot be retaliated against. But, again, on the flip side, if you get a committee of three people that don't like somebody, they can deny it on whatever grounds they want, but if there's not somebody that's oversight to watch it, that is by, you know, that right. is Switzerland. That's where we're standing. In the, in the event that we cannot get a volunteer, a single volunteer, then yes, we have to be able to approve and deny ACC applications. We cannot let it go. We can't just say, well, we don't have anybody doing it besides a board member. Yeah. As long as we make it known. We have to make it known. So, Mr. Lentz, thank you for being here for video. I appreciate it. So we'll go, I'll get on Facebook, I'll put it on the website, we've got to get an ACC committee. Uh, it doesn't matter how many people, it has to be at least one. Sure, um, line up. Line up. How many times have we been looking for one? How many years? That's, and that's what I explained to him. I said, <coughs> we're lucky if we can get one. And he says, well, then that one cannot be a board member. Yeah. So we'll, we'll discuss this and see what Monica wants to do. Um, and as soon as we find out what she wants to do, I'll go out on Facebook and the website and, and post it. But it, I mean, either way, we still need a committee. And if you get one, still, some board members still got to sign off on the committee. No, nope. board members cannot okay. sign the applications. You said that, you said that, but also said that there's not enough people that they would require signature. So if there's not too many people that make signatures, then there's only a board member left. Correct.
not can no longer be on the committee. Yes, Got it. and that's the only way that the, we can tell them that they cannot is if they are intentionally doing something or approving or denying that they cannot, they should not be doing. Then the board can say, look, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You're intentionally denying this one, approving that one when you know you can't. So then they cannot be on the committee. But they make it oh so easy. So. We need, yeah, we need a, a ACC committee. Okie doke. Uh, financials. That would be Miss Brandy. So, I'm going to have you. Whenever our, no, th that's okay. Whenever Carla's not here. Okay. So, then it goes to you. So, that you see what the financials are on this page. Okay. So, these right here. These are all the accounts. So you just read out CD1, 40,000. Uh, maintenance account, 75,000. Prepaid account, 11,429. Prepaid account, well, we just did that one. Money market, 12,188. Petty cash, 618. So the total checking and saving, 139,259. And then Carla, we all, Carla always makes sure that she does say that that does not mean that is what we have to spend because we cannot spend this. We cannot spend this. In this and we cannot spend this. So what we have is that. <coughs> so the total checking and savings is 139, 259. What we have in maintenance account is 75,000. And that's the financial report. That's the official. Okay, can I get a motion to approve the financial So I don't. 
somebody had texted me, is well, the end of the year party still? And I said, I don't, I don't know. Y'all, the problem was that it rained that morning. And okay. I thought, man, we're not going to have any participation. So I was hesitant. But then I started looking at the forecast. And it said that after 3 o'clock, it was going to clear up with no rain. So I took the chance. And luckily, it was nice and breezy. And the pool was perfect. Everybody enjoyed it. Okay. Um, in regards to social, if you want to uh, start getting some numbers together for Halloween and Christmas, and we can meet with Darla and go over just budget and stuff so that uh, September's meeting we can discuss. I've turned in, uh, I, I have bought 30 gifts so far. For Christmas? Yes. Okay. But I, I had them, I caught them on sale. Uh, I haven't gone to the store to see what all we have left, but uh, I guess what I'm concerned about, Halloween, the guy said he would be here with Kettlecorn. Okay, so then he is going to be okay. He's going to okay. be off that week, so he'll be able to do it. Okay. And um, Churros uh, said they would be here, but I haven't gotten a quote yet. Okay. If there was any price change. Okay. Hopefully not. Well, once you get their quote back, let, let me call, text me and Darla, and okay. we can sit down and go over budgeting okay. and see where you're at. So just so that you have your numbers. And, and then I am going to ask for donations for Christmas if I need to. That's fine. Um, uh, and I'm thinking seriously about for the older kids because they're, we have a bunch of older kids now uh, getting gift cards. You know, Dairy Queen. Yeah. Taco Bell, Burger King, that kind of stuff. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A will get, you know, I'll step up in there. So I, I didn't know if that would be something they would rather have than, you know, a gift. Because most of the kids that are seven and eight-year-olds, you know, they'll like to get a gift. But anything above that, they want some hardcore. Yeah. Well, yeah, they even, want and, if, <laughs> and if they don't, I mean, even, even if it's, you know, People want to donate Visa gift cards, you know, Walmart yeah. gift cards, something yeah. like that. But if you want to do donations, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. No. All right, uh, new business. The only thing we have is end of season for the pool. Pool's now shut down for the week. Uh, it's shut down starting tomorrow. Uh, so our lifeguards are in school. Um, we've lost two lifeguards due to school. So, I mean, but we're only open on the weekends until Labor Day anyways. Um, so pool will open Saturday. 1 to 7, Sunday 1 to 6, um, until Labor Day, and we will be open Monday, that Labor Day, and then that will be the day that we close. Um, I figure that we can discuss in September what we choose to do on the off-season. If we want to keep Creek as our manager on the off-season, he's, you know, 50 votes a month. He was, he'd come twice a week. Um, I will get, um, that's cheap for not having to do it. I just forgot. Our guy Terry. Terry offered. He's our the pool company that helps us out with our equipment. He's offered to do off season. Um, I need to get his quote again. He sent me a quote at the beginning of the summer, but I'd like to get a new one. And his off season was 150 a uh, month, and he would come take care of the pool, vacuum, chemicals for 150 a month. Or do we want to continue to have Creek do it? Who's going to be a senior in high school this year for 50 a month?
I call them and they're like, oh no, it's a pool cover. We won't touch that. Wow. Well, I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll talk to Fred. Okay. Fred. I mean, I, I'd rather do that than buy a new pool cover. If it's worth it. And it's the seam. Yeah, well, and it's not the, the it's not the covers rip. It's at the seam. You yeah, know, the, the seam. Yeah. yeah. So if we can find somebody that will do the seam, then that's going to be a lot cheaper than getting a whole. Is the pool cover still good? It's just so big. Somebody's got to have a warehouse to lay it out. No, I just got to take yeah. it over there and, okay. and just talk to Fred more to see how much it's going to be. Okay. They're, they're running for the like rest of the capacity of the work. Well, if you do that, if, if, I mean, if you're willing to do that, we pay your mileage and gas yeah, to do it. It's not real bad. There's two places where it's torn, but it really isn't that bad. That would be awesome. Yeah, cool. something like that is a couple hours out. Yeah. That would be great. Okay, other than that, um, we'll stay open until Labor Day. Um, just keep in mind, I'm losing all of our lifeguards this year. They're all seniors. Um, I talked to all of them. Only one of them wants to work over the summer. The rest of them, I've already got plans to be moving out to go to college. Um, I've got one lifeguard who's a sophomore this, uh, junior this year. So he'll come back. Um, so come April. So that might be another thing we need to do yeah, on Facebook that now out. so that... No! We don't have a hard time getting lifeguards. I'll start putting out there in March, and also what I do is I'll call the counselors at the high school. I email them a little, they've got a posted board at the high school that they start putting out summer jobs, and they'll put hours out. We don't have a problem because we pay more than Pirates Bay. We pay more than uh, Sweetwater with Newport that runs all these. We don't have a problem getting lifeguards, but I try to open it up right. to, to kids in the neighborhood first. That's why I said Facebook. Yeah, that's awesome. No, I do that about March. If not, January, uh, February, February, March, and I open it up to everybody in the neighborhood first. All right. Uh, so, yes. Been hurt, everybody knows, but I'm getting back there, I'm getting back to work, so if you'll come up with some maintenance issues, I know everybody's kind of been holding it, but let me know so I can get back on. Okay, no. Um, Tell the comments. <coughs> yes, sir. My name's Ray Butler. I live in Section 5. My wife, Darlene. Uh, there's some new construction there on the intersection of Lake Glen and Deep Banker Way. And they formed out the slab, put some plumbing in it. No one's been there in probably three months. The weeds are this high. It's just a total eyesore. And I, it, were they even approved? I don't know. I think I know which one you're talking about. It's not just our issue. I think that's also, I believe, a water office issue. Um, if, if it's, if it's the no, no, I yes, I yes, I think I know which one you're talking about, and I think that's one of the ones that I'm getting with her after the meeting to discuss. Yes, sir. Section five. Is that? It's right there where the where the house used to be. Okay. Right there, yeah. Still. Yes, sir. Is there anything about doing anything with the renters? I can't. Unfortunately, I can't discuss it. Other than, yes, we know what you're talking about. And yes, I'm pretty sure I'm getting with deep, uh, with deep restrictions after the meeting. That was one of the properties that she wanted to discuss. I can tell you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I made a post this afternoon. I talked to Mr. Porter with Centerpoint. Um, poles are dropped along Foley. They've got a couple of days to finish during their tree removal. Then they will start putting the poles up. Then they're going to run the lines down Foley to Foley and yeah, Foley and Bluffview. Once the lines are up, they're going to put three transformers down here at the corner. Right outside my house. No, it's going to be on the other side. <laughs> yeah. um, right there in my house every time transformer plugs. <laughs> then you'll know what then you'll know what's going on. Yeah, that's be. So my lights are gonna be zip 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 zip. Electricity. They're redoing the entire neighborhood for the electrical.
post on Facebook and on the website that you'll be but here. But nobody will lose their power until then? No, what they're doing will not mess with the power in the neighborhood because they'll just run the power. You may get a five or ten minute switch over if you're on the tr one of the transformers behind the fire station. Yeah. But it'll be a little, it, it's just going to be a switch. Sure. Yeah. Um, but they will not start doing.